Hey guys, it's another beautiful day, man. I, I can't, I can't like sugarcoat it or, or be like, oh, it's not beautiful, but it's another beautiful day. Um, but um, I want to thank you guys, first of all, for taking a moment to tune, tune in and really find out what's going on. You know what I mean? Um, there's a lot of people that's been reaching out, uh, wanting to get assistance, get help, get guidance and whatnot. And my goal is to ensure that I give you the assistance, give you help, give you guidance and provide information to help you along in your journey and putting deals together. So with that being said, with that being said, uh, I appreciate that. So today, today I want to talk about I really want to take a moment to talk about uh, church loans. I know I'm always talking about church loan guys, but the more I talk about it, the easier it is it gets for you guys. So every time I put a video, I want to try to help you. Sometimes you're in the process of putting a loan together and you're missing something and whatnot. All right. I want to talk about church financials. Um, statements of financial activity if you don't have an accountant or a cpa to help you put them together then you are wrong okay um what's going to happen is um your treasurer is probably not going to put them right it's your church your treasurer is not going to put it together right so you should have an external uh accountant or cpa put them together for you um one of the best things that I've come to find is if you do that, you typically won't have any issues or problems uh, while putting your deal together. But if you don't do that, you're gonna uh, you're gonna find issues uh, in putting your deal together. Um, I, ha I have I had a client. Well, I have a client who's currently going through the process, and uh, he actually encountered the situation that he can it's not something that he, he saw himself being able to do and what happened is uh, his uh, treasurer uh, ended up leaving so all of that ended up on him and whatnot so he could he, he he's tr he wants to do he wants to get the transaction done but it, it's a burden on him to get it done. So um, it's not it's not something that he's he wakes up and he's doing all the time. So if like I said, if it's not your cup of tea, don't drink it, man. <laughs> all right, we're gonna keep it that simple. If it's not your cup of tea, don't drink it. So um, with that being said, um, what I'm gonna do for him is I'm gonna refer him to uh, my accountant and bookkeeper uh, that will do that for him for his church and. And then from then from then on, he can always have that being done, and he doesn't have to worry about it. But his his main goal is to buy land, build a church, and then run the church from that location, and and whatnot. And like right now, I, I personally am currently uh, going through going through the journey of helping uh, somebody somebody. Uh, currently going through the journey of building a new church. He has a church there, but he wants to build a new building. So I'm helping I'm helping a couple of people go through that process and go through that journey. So right now we're uh, about to uh, meet up with the architect and whatnot. But that's neither here nor there. So let me get back to it. So you have you have uh, you have your uh, financials and they gotta support what you're doing, your statement of financial activity, okay? When you have the statement of financial activity, it's about supporting what you are currently doing, okay? You're not necessarily, you're not supposed to be on there with a bunch of losses and stuff, but because as a church, you shouldn't have a bunch of losses. You should always be gaining, be gaining and whatnot. As a church, you should always be having gains and whatnot, all right? So if the statement of financial activity it's showing a bunch of losses. You're pro probably not going to get. The, you're probably not going to get the uh, the loan. Okay. 
So that's why it's important. It's important if you're a church to always be reviewing that that stuff because that stuff determines a lot. They're going to request that when you want to do certain things, when you want to get certain things and whatnot. So as a church, that stuff should be put in put in check right away. Okay. The statement of uh, financial activity. Um. So I can't stress it. The other big thing. The other big thing is as long as long as as long as you have at least minimum, at least minimum, two years. That means you just you have you've been in a church for minimum three years, and you got two years uh, of financial activity set up. Then you should be good to go. But um, like I said, you you always want to have a minimum of members. If you don't have at least either 100 members or at least 100 members, then you shouldn't be looking to try to uh, buy a church, all right? So you wanna have 100 members. A statement of financial activity has to make sense. You can't you can't be showing there on there with a bunch of negatives and a bunch of losses. The other thing is, the year, it has to show consistent growth, okay? I don't want, I don't want you to have one year you made a million dollars, the next year, uh, the following year you only made seven hundred thousand dollars, and then the year after that you made eight hundred thousand dollars. Okay, that that's already a big red flag. That's a that's a problem. Okay, we're looking at numbers. Okay, so so with that being said, with that being said, once once you have uh, uh, an accountant. Uh, who's able to help you or go through it. If you don't have one, just give me a call. Shoot me a message below. Just put uh, Pound Hey Rick below in the comment section and just say, hey, I need a, uh, a bookkeeper and an accountant to help me with my uh, financial statements. I'll send somebody over for you, okay? So just reach out. If you don't, if you don't have one, I'm just, if you don't have one, it, it's, we're just talking about the financials. If you don't have one, I'll, I'll, I'll have my bookkeeper uh, reach out to you because she's freaking awesome when it comes to putting that stuff together. Um, and then I'll also uh, have the accountant reach out to you um, so we can uh, overlook it and give you the, 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 the blessing and whatnot. If you need a CPA also, I have a CPA I can refer to you, um, but... Um, but the most important thing is getting the initial, the initial work done. So you're gonna be, you're, if you're building the church, there's a lot of moving parts. So the the numbers got to be reported correctly. Everything's got to be reported correctly. So um, as long as that's happening, everything's moving. It, it's a, a smooth process. Then um, you should you should be able to win and get it done and whatnot. So. With that being said, man, with that being said, um, if you haven't liked, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you haven't uh, hit the little notification bell, um, videos are gonna be coming out quite a bit um, each and every single day for you guys. I want you guys to know that if you have a, 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 a church you're trying to buy or a facility or a building, if you're trying to buy it, reach out to me. I'll give you proper guidance on uh, getting the getting the transaction done and whatnot. So um, let me know. Just let me know. Just drop me a message. Um, put pound. Hey Rick, um, if you got got a question or you want me to reach out to you or something like that, um, and I'll have all my contact information down below also, and so we can continue moving. I want to thank you for tuning in, and I'll talk to you, man. Thank you.